Hi, welcome to this week's Commercial Real Estate Report. I'm Tom Dakin, business reporter at the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel and writer of the Land and Space Commercial Real Estate blog at jsonline.com. For years, it was one of Milwaukee's best known hotels with over 500 rooms, a trade hall, and an elegant restaurant. But as it limps toward a planned closing, the aging Wyndham Hotel near Mitchell International Airport may be a candidate for the wrecking ball. The Wyndham near Layton and Howell Avenues will close around December 22nd, putting 133 employees out of work. The hotel was acquired by its lender through an August foreclosure auction. Now, an unidentified investor has agreed to buy the property, possibly to demolish the Wyndham and create new buildings on its 16-acre lot. That presents a development opportunity for the airport area, but little is being said publicly about those plans. Crescent Hotels, the firm appointed by a judge to manage the Wyndham, so the closing decision was reached after the hotel's lenders and Crescent determined it needed a significant capital investment to remain viable. An appraisal of the hotel says its land is worth almost as much as the building. That suggests the property's highest value could come from demolishing the hotel and developing new commercial buildings. A redevelopment of the property into a smaller hotel with additional commercial space, possibly shops, could be a strong addition to the airport business area, said Tom Rave executive director of the Airport Gateway Business Association. For much more on this story, look for an upcoming article in the journal Sentinel and at jsonline.com.